It's okay, Sarah. It's okay. It's okay. You're a good kitty kitty. Yes, you are. I know. You're really annoyed by the dog. I know. I know. You're a good kitty. I don't have anything else to do other than record my pets on a day that's snowing and I'm sick. So, you guys are going to get a mini vlog today. You're a good dog, too. I love you. I love you. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You huge. You're a huge doggy. Yes, you are. Uh, I am not feeling well. I have a nose that could be overqualified to take Rudolph's job. I got a sore throat, coughing. My chest hurts now because I'm coughing. So, I'm doing my best to make the day as good as it could possibly be. Hanging out with you guys. Yeah, is that a little better? Hanging out with you guys and my favorite pets and all that fun stuff. I'm also working on another video just to pass the time today. Um, taking apart that transformer that uh, I took out of the microwave yesterday. So I'll work on that for you guys. And, uh, well, I'll be back shortly. <laughs> Remember that transformer that I took out of the microwave yesterday? This is it. And uh, I'm going to basically separate the copper from the light iron and, uh, you know, to make it worth more. These both ended up being copper, which is awesome. Sometimes you don't get that lucky. Some could be aluminum. They could both be aluminum. One could be copper and aluminum. You, you know how it is. It's kind of a roll of the dice, like I said in the last video. But in order to take this out, this first part here is set up like an M. Okay? So there's metal going in through, securing it, and then you've got this bottom piece with a seam that runs across, and it's welded into place so that it makes one full transformer. So in order for me to get this out as easy as possible, what I do is I take uh, something and I make a notch along the weld line so that I can get in there with a chisel and pry this bottom piece off so I can get the copper out. So that's what I'm gonna do. Sorry about sniffling, guys, I'm really sick. Uh, I probably shouldn't even be doing this, but uh, I am one dedicated individual. So anyway, uh, there's two schools of thought when it comes to making a little notch. Uh, the first of which is, you know, manual. Hold on. You can, uh, you know, you can take one of these and you can just kind of, you know, saw along the, the line there to get the to get the ridge, to get that little area to get your chisel in there, you could do that. Me personally, I'm too sick, I'm too tired, I'm too weak, so I'm going to use an angle grinder. You should always wear safety glasses whenever you're doing something like this because you don't want a hot piece of steel getting in your eye. Let me tell you something, you're going to have a bad day if you do couldn't find my safety glasses. I don't know if you can see me or not, but uh, I couldn't find them, so I'm going to wear my regular glasses. Uh, they'll still protect me, um, but really you should be wearing protective eyewear when you do something like this. So that is my little disclaimer. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create that little groove that we had talked about.
there we go. We created a little groove so that uh, I can get a chisel, or in my case, a screwdriver in there, and I can hammer on it to get that end to pry off. So that's what I'm going to do right now. As you can see, the well just comes right off. You want to be careful not to hit your hand too, because uh, that can hurt. Or use a chisel if you got one. I will be getting one. See how that came out. So all you should, all you really should have to do is just kind of bend it back and forth, and peel it off. And let me tell you something: this steel, make sure you put it in the light iron pile because uh, it's heavy and it adds up quick. All right, guys. So now what I do is pretty simple. Uh, I'll take a screwdriver and a hammer, and I will do my best to get the copper out. See if I can get you a better angle. There we go. There we go. So there's one, and I've got to clean it up. And the second one might be a little bit more difficult because it's wedged in. Coming out slowly but slowly. Position. So there's that. That's the second one. And I gotta clean both of them up. You know, I like to take the paper off and the extra wire and all that fun stuff before I put it into my number two pile. But uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, I got these two bricks off of the, uh, out of the transformer, out of the microwave. And I'm gonna say it's pretty close to a pound. Might be a pound. This is my son, Austin. Say hey, Austin. Hi. Hey. Okay. He's home with me. He's on uh, holiday vacation. And he's playing video games. You having fun today? Yeah. You getting pretty far at this game? Yeah, I almost beat it. Kicking butt? Yeah. Can Daddy borrow it when you're done? Yeah. Awesome. You're a good man. Where's the kitty? Where's the kitty? Where's the kitty? Oh, the kitty's right there. See? Eva likes the kitty. And Eva likes to play with the kitty every now and then. But the kitty don't like Eva playing with her. Um, Eva doesn't hurt her. Cat just gets annoyed. What's the matter, Eva? Are you gonna get the kitty? Get the kitty, where is she? Where's the kitty? 
Where's the kitty? Where's the kitty? Get the kitty. Okay. <laughs> 